the thoracic team's research has been primarily focused in three areas, those with lung cancer, esophageal cancer, and thymic malignancies. The area that I've been most focused on within the thoracic team has been lung cancer, and we study all sorts of strategies and therapeutics to try to improve cure rates for patients with early stage disease who have undergone surgery. For those with more locally advanced disease, what we would call stage three disease to improve outcomes beyond radiation therapy and chemotherapy. And then for those who have advanced disease, stage four disease, who are largely considered incurable, testing new ideas, new drugs, and new strategies. Well, the research in the field of lung cancer matters because lung cancer is in a sense uh, the study of all cancers. Just about every genetic mutation that can take place and chromosomal abnormality and other things that affect gene function that have gone awry in lung cancer help explain the development of cancer along a whole spectrum of other diseases. So frankly, when you study lung cancer, you study cancer. Well, what inspires my research, it sounds corny, but honestly, it's the people that you see and it's the people who are suffering, the people who are dying, and their family members. And you do feel an obligation to help do something about it. It's not enough just to treat the disease. You have to understand what's causing it, come up with better therapeutic strategies, and help reduce the incidence of the disease in the first place. So it's really a, 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 an obligation that you feel that you wanna be purposeful that there's a reason why you've done the things that you've done and, and, and you want to translate it to actually matter. The ultimate goal that we want to accomplish as a thoracic team is to make lung cancer uh, a rare and uncommon cause of death and suffering, particularly to those who are uh, uh, Hoosiers. Um, and we have the formula for this. We know that about 90% of people who have lung cancer have it as a result of decades of tobacco. And so one of our primary focuses is to reduce tobacco consumption. We also know that lung cancer screening CT scans save lives. And so we wanna get more screening scans done in the high risk population who should be getting screened. And then lastly, we know that the better therapeutics of tomorrow are available today on clinical trials. So we want to develop robust, interesting, unique, uh, and promising clinical trials and, and to uh, you know, uh, help our patients enroll into those clinical trials so that we can come to the solutions more quickly than we have in the past. Well, I, I'd like to tell our donors how much I truly appreciate how grateful I am for their generosity and to let them know and I think they know and I hope they know that their generosity matters. Uh, every time they give us financial support it makes an impact not only on the research that we do but on how that affects patient care. Whether that means studying a cell under a microscope or maybe studying the impact of treatment on the emotional uh, aspects of care or whether it's coming up with a better therapy and a new strategy for patients. Uh, money translates into research and research translates into outcomes and uh, it is critically important and, and I can tell you firsthand that without the support we are just simply not able to do all of the things that we